So, video did a little while ago from a company called Camelo. They sent over one of their, but I, I think it was a vlogging kit, like an actual vlogging kit. Everything you physically need to become our own creator or vlogger. And the review went quite well. The products are great. I still use them. I'm using the tripod right now on the smaller camera, just so it's easy for me to talk instead of getting a bigger one out. So with a lot of the parts from that vlogging kit I am using. Uh, my drawers are currently now getting more full and full of all these different types of vlogging kits, but I really can't complain. So they decided to send over one of their tube lights. Now, I have been getting more into tube lights. They're in the corner of each of the room for more like dramatic color effects with I'm streaming, which I haven't done in a while. So... Obviously, I said yes, because I want to review it. I want to see how good it is. And it was quite amazing when I read the description and it said controlled by an app. Let's get into it. So guys, what's going on? This is what we're taking a look at. Now, like I said before, this is from a company called Camelo and this is an RGB light. Uh, we did review one of their uh, vlogging kits the other day, which actually turned out really well. I am using quite a bit of the kit when it comes to like the small tripods and all that they came with. So definitely still a thumbs up from them. Uh, but this is what we're taking a look at. And this is the 8500K RGB uh, Camelo light. So let's just get it unboxed, see what we're working with. So this is pretty much what we've got. We've got a, quite a large uh, USB to uh, Type-C connector going on there to allow for charging. It's quite unique that they've actually started and sent a larger one. Normally, it's just like them really small little dinky ones. They have also sent a user manual here. This is pretty much going to tell you everything you need to know about it. All the different settings for this specific light. We do get quite a nice little wrist strap here with a little threaded screw nut at the end. So that's pretty cool. So we get the light itself, but we also get a nice, um, I'm not sure what this, I think it's suede. It may be, I think it's a suede bag uh, to actually protect uh, the light itself. So that's pretty cool. And then we have the light itself. Now, as we can see, they've got the logo going on the back there with a few bits of information. And then we also have our main interface, charging port, and then on each side, we do have a screw thread, so we can actually... Oh. Oh, that is cool. It's magnetic. No, I didn't know that. So, like I was saying, first of all, it's got that little screw thread on the side there, so you can screw that in. So, if, say, if you're doing a specific video for, like, special effects, you can hook this onto your wrist, so you know fine well it's going to be safe and secure. But I did not realize that it was magnetic when I looked into this. So if you have like say a magnetic board anywhere, so where my camera is sat, it's on a tripod arm that goes outwards that way, and that's actually sat, that can actually magnetically click together by each part going on here. So we do have a rubber fascia covering what, what might be a magnet underneath to actually stop any damage from this, as well as the device or the area you're going to stick it to, as well as the same on the other side, which is really, really cool. So on the light itself, it is covered entirely in like either an acrylic clear plastic. And then inside the plastic here, we do have the uh, the dome the uh, diffuser, which is going to kind of lighten up, uh, take away a lot of the harsh lights coming from the LEDs. Now inside of here, we do have the two different types of LEDs of your white light and more of a warm light, which is pretty cool. And then we just have a small amount of information telling you that the power is 8 watts and the battery is a 2600 milliamp uh, hour battery, which is pretty large now on here we do have the control so we do have mini lcd display we have on off button mode as well as a turn wheel and a click button and like we said before the actual charging port so we're going to get this turned on i saw a bluetooth sign one minute i need my phone i saw a bluetooth sign ah, we are connected that is really cool so yes uh the app for this is called rgb link uh it is that app going on right there a little rgb sign going on there that's the one we are using so as you can see we have the light bar there and we're going to tilt it that way so it's not as harsh on your eyes and what we're going to do is just quickly turn the light off simple turn the light back on change its brightness make it warmer that is really cool now this is the second time i reviewed something in the past like week or so that's actually got rgb uh that's actually allows for bluetooth which is pretty cool ah Right, so just before we get into the app, I just want to show you the actual interface itself. So we have the interface, and obviously we're going for the RGB right now. So the scroll wheel allows you to change all the numbers. 
and then the middle button will allow you to change between them. So if you want to add more red or take the red away, etc. The M button will allow you to change the mode. So what you actually want. So at the moment we're on lightning. So it's going to be more of a lightning effect. We've got lightning 2. We have, we have cinema. We have police. Ambulance. Fire truck. Fast RGB. Slow RGB. SOS. Candle lit. Lightning. So there is a large, large variety going on there. So we have also have CCT. This is going to allow the show change the care factor from anywhere from as low as 2500 up to 8500. So that's pretty much going to change the brightness of the light for the color side. So this is more of a white light. And then the more I scroll downwards, it changes to more of a warm light. So it depends what you want, either in your background or your motion. You can have that as well. As we can see, that's more of a warm light. And then obviously the one at the top allows you to change the brightness, uh, how much brightness you actually want for this. So I'll click mode again. This is going to be the HSI. So this is going to be all the different types of color modes you want. As you can see, it's quite a bright purple. You can change through uh, all the different types of color modes. So I'm going to change that one as well as the brightness. So if you want to change the brightness down, go ahead. And then you've just got your basic RGB. So this is going to allow you to cycle through all the different types of RGB colors from red, blue and uh, green. And then we'll back the scene as well. So that relatively is really cool. So I'm going to keep that there. We're going to have a little look at the app itself. So as we can see, we have that app going on here. And what we're going to do is start off by color and actually start changing a few things. As you can see, as I move my finger around here and change the light, you can see the light on the left hand side is changing color as well. And then as well as the brightness level, I can change that also. Now, if we go to the camera setting, we can also obtain exact colors. So if I point my camera towards the keyboard and click obtain, the light itself changes to that color. So if I click again and go to another one, so the mouse, so if I obtain that, obviously it doesn't have black, so it's going to go to more of a gray color, which is pretty cool. And then we have a brownie color, as we can see there. So that is really cool. Right, then we also have our lighting effect. So if we want to go for lightning one, two, cinema, we have police. We have ambulance, fire engine, RGB 1 and 2, SOS, and also candle lit. Obviously, depending on what mode you are actually going for. And then we also have our favorites. So this is going to be the sort of stuff if you want to set up scenarios for certain days and certain times, you can do it via this as well. So if you want certain scenarios for certain backgrounds or behind you, on top of you, etc., this is definitely going to be within reach. So I have to admit, really, really excited about that. Really good app. And I'm, that's definitely, definitely 100% a thumbs up from me. So there we go. That was the video from the Camelot uh, tube light. And I have to admit, it did incredible. The colors that it that was that was coming from this was incredible. And, you know, it had every scenario you could think of where this could be possible. And I really did like the fact that it actually turned out that it was magnetic as well. That was one thing I did really enjoy because now when I'm recording from the ceiling, this can literally click onto the side of my tripod and I'm good to go. I can change all the different lights, all the different functions, make the backgrounds look cool. And alone really is incredible. And I did quite like the fact that they did give you this little handy dandy, I think it's suede, suede little bag to keep it protected, stop it from getting scratched. You know, you can take this traveling with you if you've got like a camera bag and all that and you can keep it nice and safe. But I really have to admit, the video went well, and I really did enjoy it. I enjoy doing these sort of videos, finding out things like the magnets that I didn't realize that were on there, turned out really cool. So I have to admit, an absolutely brilliant product, so thanks very much for sending one over. But if you guys want to go check them out for yourself, if you head down the links in the description, there'll be a link there so you can go check them out. And as always, if you do get one, you have any issues, drop them down in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to help. But as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out any further videos. And as always, have a great day.